All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And check out this clip right here. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. I got wrecked. Oh, my God. I even did a backflip. Look at this snipe right here. Oh, damn good snipe right there. Damn good sniping, guys. I didn't stand a chance. Let's check this out in slow motion. There was no way I was getting out of this without taking the L. I mean, I had a sniper in the middle. I had a dude shooting a war machine at me and a Tempest. I mean, just forget it. I mean, I, I walked out the wrong door right there. Look at that. Oh, Oh, look at that flip. <laughs> this dude knocked me backwards. This shit was crazy. Take a look at this shot. It's actually a really good shot. Not complaining about a sniper death. This has got to be a fake video, man. And, oh, look at that. Just beautiful. Really nicely done, man. Giving snipers props. Damn, everything must be right with the world. So, anyway, let's get into this gameplay here on Stronghold. Uh, whew, man. Picked the wrong doorway to walk out of, man. <laughs> got destroyed. <laughs> So anyway, guys, I'm using this AK, oh, not AK, KN44 with the ELO sight, the grip, and rapid fire. And I'll tell you guys something right now. You see all these videos on YouTube, how to improve your aim, how to get better accuracy. You know, it's got nothing to do with sensitivity, man. I think the sensitivity I play on in this game is 5, for all the people that always ask. I play on a 5 sensitivity, and for me, I think that's fine. Uh, but man, if you want good accuracy... Try this setup. You don't have to run rapid fire like I'm doing right here, but definitely try the grip and the elo sight. It doesn't even have to be on the KM. Try it on any assault rifle. Uh, you put the grip and this elo sight on any assault rifle, any gun period, and your accuracy will definitely improve. This elo sight is the best thing to happen to the red dot sight since the red dot sight. I, I mean, it's just amazing. Uh, it really is. So anyway, uh, enough about the tips and tricks on how to get better aim. Uh, I want to talk about a tweet that I seen Vaughn make earlier today, and I'll put it up on the screen. He's talking about crypto key farmers. We see you. It's not going to end well for you, but I'm glad you think it's fun. Are people still crypto key boosting? How? I thought they patched that shit. Didn't they patch the crypto key uh, cheese? Is there a new cheese out there that I'm unaware of? Uh, don't they kick you for being inactive? Oh, that's right. They, the, the, the criminal mastermind crypto key boosters <laughs> figured out a workaround to Treyarch's patch. I guess if you stand still, the patch recognizes you're inactive and it kicks you. You know, a lot of people have been complaining about getting kicked because they had to go get like, you know, go take a piss or get up and go answer the phone or go get a drink of water or something. And they come back and they, they kick from the game. Well, the criminal mastermind crypto key boosters have figured out a workaround. I guess they're just tying rubber bands around the sticks or even... An even more diabolical plan. They just turn the controller over. So there's... Oh, oh, get spiked, baby. They just turn the controller over. So there's always pressure on the sticks. And they just randomly walk around the map. So, man, I'm telling you. these It's true what they say, man. The crooks are always one step ahead. <laughs> the crypto key boosting, uh, booster busters is like Vaughn's top priority over there at Treyarch. Probably Activision's breathing down his neck. Like, oh man, we can't have these dudes cheesing for crypto keys. Let me let me ask you this, man. These guys who are in gun game not playing. I mean, even if they were playing, who cares? They bought your game. They're in the lobby. They're playing. I mean, does it really make a difference that they're not moving? Uh, I don't see why they should be putting so much effort into this, man, into this patch. Uh, I mean, honestly, I, and you guys who are crypto key boosting, dude, it ain't even hard to get crypto keys. I mean, I get a shitload of crypto keys just playing this game. I mean, every time I look, it seems like I get like 50 or 100 crypto keys. Uh, it's really not that hard to get. I don't know why you dudes are trying so hard to, to boost for them or... I don't know, whatever, man. Um, honestly, I don't see why this is such a big deal, man. There's far more important things Treyarch should be worrying about than dudes standing AFK in gun game. Uh, and that's not it, man. Vaughn also put out this other tweet. We are working on bugs, new features, game tuning, and new game content. Hmm, new game content. It's hard out here for a COD pimp. I agree, dude. It definitely is. It was, what could this new game content be, fellas? Maybe specialist characters? Maybe DLC weapons? Some maps? Or a lot of you guys seem to think it could be uh, weapon variants. Are weapon variants the new game content? Now, like I said, man, Activision, you got guys out here spending hundreds of dollars just on skins on skins for the knife hundreds of dollars on camo mm, you know activision those dudes are sitting in the boardroom like yo <laughs> you know how much money we can make if we put some weapon variants in here look at all the money these dudes are spending on camos now me 
I mean, camo, it's cool, don't get me wrong, but, I mean, I, I played Black Ops 2 for three years, I never even got diamond camo. Oh, get spiked, baby? If people just come in this room and get spiked <laughs> often, these gravity spikes, but they are annoying, they really are, but they're fun to use. I like using them, but I hate it when they get used against me. Oh, but you guys gotta remember, man, Activision is a business, and if they do put weapon variants in the game, if that's the new game content, I mean, it's gonna sell. Like, right now, I'm not buying any... Oh, COD points because, I mean, dude, like I said, man, I played Black Ops 2 for three years and never even got Diamond Camo. Camo's not really that important to me. I mean, even when I open up these supply drops from the crypto keys I get from playing and I get, like, epic camo, I'm like, eh, whatever. I, it's not like I jump out of my chair like, oh, my God, I got I got epic camo. Oh, my God. Like, I don't care. It's just camo. I don't, I don't get excited over that shit. Uh, but if they put weapon variants in here, man... I'll, I'll be honest, I will definitely buy COD points. I will definitely try get COD points so I can get these cheesy weapon variants. And look, fellas, I'm not saying I want them in here, but that new game content could very well be a uh, weapon variant. So just brace yourself, people. Brace yourself. The weapon variants are probably coming. Uh, another thing I want to talk about, guys, YouTube creators actually DM'd me today. Uh, and they told me how to, they pretty much made it idiot proof for me. They said, look, copy and paste this and put it in this box and you will get your 100k silver play button. Oh, watch out for the hive. Damn. I told you guys that hive was nasty. I've been getting killed by that shit a lot. Uh, and so my silver play button will be here between six to 12 weeks. So that's really not that long to wait considering I should have got this thing back. Uh, I don't know, five years ago <laughs> in the black ops one era. And, ooh, jump shot, baby. And this is a real close game here, fellas. The lobby balancing, you know, I've, I've never played so many close games in my life than I played in Black Ops 3. And you know what, man? I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm kind of enjoying the tight, close, competitive games. Uh, they're starting to grow on me. You know, like, this game was fun for me. Like, when I won, when I got this kill and we, and we won by two kills, I was like, yes! Like, you know, it was exciting. Rather than just me coming out here and just destroying a lobby completely full of noobs. And, you know, it... It's, it's impressive, I guess, to put up a big score on YouTube, but when you're playing it, it's like, eh, these guys I'm destroying completely suck. It's really, it's really not that fun, <laughs> but uh, I don't know, man. I'm starting to kind of like the lobby balancing. The lobby balancing is definitely growing on me, but anyway, all right, guys. Thank you all so much for checking out this gameplay commentary. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to smack that like button. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's do my little victory dance, and I will see you guys on the next one.